So now I would like to explain about the Maxwell's third equation. The Maxwell's third equation gives the relation between magnetic field intensity h bar and current density j bar. So to find Maxwell's third equation, consider a rectangular current loop ABCDA in Cartesian coordinate system on XYZ plane. So this is Cartesian coordinate system. Here coordinates are x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate, and it is one current loop. It lies on XYZ plane. So let us assume the magnetic field intensity due to this current loop at origin h bar equals to hx into ax bar plus hy into ay bar plus hz into az bar. Here hx, hy, hz are x axis, y axis, z axis components of magnetic field intensity and ax bar, ay bar and az bar are the unit vectors in Cartesian coordinate system. So now to find the Maxwell's third equation, let us consider a differential current loop on xy plane. So this is current loop on xy plane. Assume here AB equals to CD equals to delta X, BC equals to DA equals to delta Y. So here current loop lies on XYZ plane. So directly we cannot determine the relation between magnetic field intensity and the current density if a current loop lies on XYZ plane. So that's why. So first we are determining the relation between magnetic field intensity and the current density if a current loop lies on XY plane. Okay, directly we cannot determine the relation if the current loop lies on x, y, z plane. So that's why, so first we are finding the expression if current loop lies on x, y plane. So next by using this equation, so y, z plane, we can determine the relation. Next by using these two relations, we can determine if a current loop lies on z, x plane. So by using these three equations, we can find the Maxwell's third equation. So to find Maxwell's third equation, we have to apply ampere circuit law. So we know that the ampere circuit law Closed line integral h bar dot dl bar equals to i n closed. Here closed path is a b c d a. So integral a b c d a h bar dot dl bar equals to i n closed. Here a b c d a one rectangular closed path. So we can divide this closed path into four parts. So first one a b, next b c, next c d, next d a. So a b side h bar dot dl bar plus b c side h bar dot dl bar plus c d side h bar dot dl bar plus d a side h bar dot dl bar equals to i n closed. So first one integral a b h bar dot dl bar. Here a b side lies on x axis. So with respect to origin the magnetic field intensity equals to h bar. So h bar dot so dl bar equals to a b length equals to delta x and a b direction x axis direction. So it becomes h bar dot delta x into a x bar. So next one BC, here AB lies on X axis, that's why it having only one component. So next to BC said, BC said on XY plane, it having X component and Y component. So here BC parallel to Y axis, so it having Y axis component. So next to BC perpendicular to X axis and it having the X component also. So integral BC H bar dot DL bar equals to, so H bar dot delta Y into A Y bar. So this is y component so next one dou by dou x into h bar into delta x into del y into a y bar so this is x component so integral bc h bar dot dl bar equals to h bar plus dou by dou x into h bar into delta x dot del y into a y bar so next cd said integration expression cd also lies on x y plane and cd parallel to x axis okay cd parallel to x axis and the CD direction opposite to X axis. So this integration becomes integral CD H bar dot DL bar equals to so first X component. So H bar dot delta X into minus A X bar. So next to Y term dou by dou Y into H bar del Y into delta X into minus A X bar. So next similarly D A said integration. D A said lies on Y axis and it is opposite to Y axis. So d a said integration equals to h bar dot del y into minus a y bar. Okay, why? Because d a opposite to y axis. So unit vector equals to minus a y bar and d a length equals to delta y. So with respect to origin, the magnetic field intensity equals to h bar. So finally d a said integration h bar dot d l bar equals to h bar dot del y into minus a y bar. So now substitute in equation 1. So equation 1 becomes h bar dot delta x into x bar plus h bar plus dou by dou x into h bar into delta x into del y into a y bar plus h bar plus dou by dou y into h bar into del y dot del x into minus a x bar plus h bar dot del y into minus a y bar equals to i n closed. 
so this equation becomes so do by do x into h bar delta x dot del y into a y bar minus do by do y into h bar del y dot delta x into minus delta x into x bar equals to i n closed here delta x delta we common so next equation do by do x into h bar dot a y bar minus do by do by into h bar dot a x bar into delta x into delta y equals to i n closed so we know that the relation between current and current density current equals to current to density into area current to density current equals to current to density into area so i n closed equals to j z into delta x into delta v here current loop lies on current loop lies on x y plane so always the current to density is normal to the current loop here the current loop lies on x y plane so normal coordinate is z coordinate so the current to density direction is z axis direction so j z so next to current loop area this is one rectangular current loop so the area of this current loop equals to delta x into delta y so i n closed equals to current to density into area j z into delta x into delta y so delta x delta y delta x delta y both should cancel so next equation do by dx into h y minus do by do by into h x equals to j z so this is equation number 1 so next one this is x y plane the relation between current to density and magnetic field intensity here x y plane that's why in denominator so first x axis next y axis in numerator y component is there next x component is there here current to density normal to this plane so by using this equation we can determine yz plane and zx plane relations so first to yz plane so denominator do y do z numerator hz component hy component the reverse components and yz plane normal coordinate is x coordinate so current to density jx this is equation number two so next to zx plane so do z do x zx sequence here denominator do z next one do x in numerator opposite do into hx minus do into hz so next to zx plane normal component equals to jy equation number three so equation two do by do y into hz minus do by do z into hy equals to jx equation three do by do z into hx minus do by do x into hz equals to jy equation number three so next to by using that equations we can find the relation the total current density in x y z plane equals to j bar j bar equals to j x into x bar plus j y into a y bar plus j z into a z bar so already we determine j x j x j y and j z okay substitute in this equation so this equation becomes okay j bar equation so this can be written as j bar equals to a x bar a y bar a z bar do by do x do by do y do by do z h x h y h z okay this expression we can write like this so this relation is equals to k del bar cross h bar so cross product with del operator so this is called curl operation so j bar equals to del bar cross h bar the maxwell's third equation del bar cross h bar equals to j bar here h bar is the magnetic field intensity j bar is current density del bar cross h bar is called curl operation so curl h bar equals to j bar the maxwell's third equation so this equation is also called as the differential form of ampere circuit law or point form of ampere circuit law so the maxwell's third equation is also called as the differential form of ampere circuit law or the point form of ampere circuit law